What is going on guys? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while and I've kind of just been MIA on YouTube altogether and I do apologize for that but there's no excuses and um, it's time to step up my game and just kind of bring you guys along for the next couple of weeks because I do have a bunch of fun things in store and um, I'm just going to be doing some traveling and just some things that I think will be a lot more um, exciting to see on the channel. So anyways, as you can see by the title of this video, it has nothing to do with what I'm just talking about, but I will do some updates at the end of the video for anyone who cares. Um, but if you did click on the video, obviously you're wanting to see the full leg day. Um, I actually went out to this really sweet gym, which you probably have heard of a Metroflex, the chain before, but there's actually only one Metroflex gym that I know of in Wisconsin and it's pretty close to me, about 30 minutes from where I live. And um, I was able to go there with one of my online clients to do a leg workout. So um, I'm gonna kind of go through the leg workout. I'm gonna have the full thing listed in the description. So if you wanna try it out, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I will get back to them for sure. So um, like I said, I'm gonna kind of go over the workout, kind of go over everything we did and just kind of um, give you guys some tips, give you guys some mental cues that I'm going through and hopefully it helps you guys out. So some of the pieces of equipment that I use are something you probably don't have at your gym. But if you do want to kind of make modifications to anything or have any questions on how you can modify any of the exercises we're doing um, to machines that you have at your gym, I can definitely do that. So like I said, leave comments below if you have any, otherwise we'll get right into things here. As you can see, I started out with some back squats. So we started out with a back squat working up to a heavy triple for the day. My goal was to hit at least 375 or 385 for the day and I really wasn't sure how I was gonna um, kind of um, go about that whether or not I was gonna go for 375 or 385 until I started warming up for the day and that's commonly how I like to go about things because if I'm feeling good on certain days I want to push myself and if I don't feel that great um, I want to kind of pull things back a little bit accordingly so as I was warming up I worked up to um, like I said 385 and I ended up going with 385 and as you'll see here um, I ended up failing at 385 um, but I was able to hit it for two reps which two reps for me is a huge PR at 385 I've only ever hit that for one rep before and the way I moved the first rep and even the second rep was faster than I ever did on that single that I hit at 385 a few years ago so the progression I've made in my squats recently has definitely been awesome. I'm going to show you guys a few other squats that I've hit recently. I hit 365 by 3, which is also a huge PR, and um, I also hit 315 for 3 on front squats, which um, is also a huge PR. That's actually a one rep max and also a triple PR at the same time. I've never, I've never front squatted 315 before then. So the amount of kind of progression I've made in my squat definitely has to do with my weight being a little bit heavier recently. I'm back up to near 160 and I've been weighing about 158 in the morning recently. So being that I'm heavier and I have a little bit more fuel in my system, I'm able to kind of move those weights a little bit more effectively and have a little bit more of that max effort sort of strength um, ready to go. So that's kind of why I've been able to hit those PRs. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these videos, but kind of don't want to go into that. Um, but I'm going to show you guys now my client. Like I said, he's from um, up northern Wisconsin. He lives about a few hours up north from me um, here in Wisconsin as well. And um, he actually worked up to 335 for three for the day. Um, really excellent form. He's a low bar squatter compared to my high bar squat. And um, as you see here, Joe actually is his name as well. Um, he mercs 315 um, by three, and then he also hits 335 by three as well for two sets. So um, uh, yeah, things went pretty well on the squat session. I can't complain altogether. I definitely should have racked it after that second rep um, on my on my triple attempt, but um, I was being a little greedy and I wanted to go a little bit um, harder than I should have, and I probably should have just been a little bit smarter and racked it, but you live and you learn. So um, that's the first time I've failed a squat in a while, which kind of is a good thing because I'm trying to keep that momentum rolling and only really have quality reps in the tank just for my own satisfaction and also just um, to kind of prevent injury. So anyways, after that, we moved on to more of the hypertrophy style session and uh, more of the higher volume stuff, more of the bodybuilding style, um, if you will. So we moved on to a hack squat variation, which they have a really sweet hack squat um, at the Metroflex that I went to. And we did kind of a pyramid set. So we did 12, 10, 8, 6. And as we were working down in reps, um, we were working up in weight. So I'll show you guys the top set with four plates on each side. Um, and we were able to, like I said, hit that four plates for six reps on our last set. So really just focusing on a closer stance here, really focusing on the engagement through my quads. And then also as I'm locking out, I'm really focusing on keeping the tension on the muscle itself, 
rather than my joints. So a lot of people give leg press bad rap and um, a lot of times it's because user error and not necessarily the leg press themselves. So if you use them wisely, if you use a hack squat wisely, you can definitely benefit from it and um, not have it be something that's going to ever injure you or not really um, give you the benefit that you want if done correctly. So um, anyways, after that we moved on to a hip hinge movement. So since we did two squat variations, we wanted to move into a hip hinge, which we did RDLs. And um, my buddy, uh, actually my client, a uh, friend of mine as well, Joe has trouble with engaging his hamstrings. So what we did instead of doing barbell, which is typically what I would do, we did dumbbell instead. And the thing you can kind of tweak with a dumbbell versus the barbell is just the placement of the dumbbells um, in your hands and where you're kind of using them as you move into the hip hinge um, and move into the RDL movement. And he was able to get a lot better stretch of his hamstrings with the dumbbell. So don't be afraid to kind of change things up or use a different variation that you might never have done before to kind of get a better mind muscle connection in certain muscle groups that you might have trouble with. Um, so after that, and I didn't, don't think I mentioned, but we did three sets of um, 12 reps on the RDLs. And like I said, the full workout is in the description if you're interested, guys. Um, we moved on to some more isolation style stuff. So instead of the compound movements, we moved now into some isolation for the quads and some isolation for the hamstrings. Um, we did a leg extension, three sets of 12 to 15, and we supersetted that or paired it with a, a standing, um, excuse me, a standing hamstring um, machine curl. So the hamstring machine curl is probably something you might not have at your gym. You might have a lying hamstring curl or you might have a seated hamstring curl, um, but the standing variation as you're seeing is definitely not something that you um, see um, as often. And really, I have only seen at this sort of um, gym or more of like a hardcore style gym that's more specific to bodybuilding. And um, otherwise, I really have seen it very seldom. So um, that's one of the things that I like to do or utilize when I go to a gym like this is just use the specific um, unique pieces of equipment that they have um, just because it's really fun and it's something that you don't get to use every day at commercial gyms. So um, so I did, like I said, three sets of 12 to 15 there um, on the hamstring curls. I was obviously doing 12 to 15 each side. And um, yeah, so if you guys have questions, like I said, about that specific exercise, you could definitely sub it in with a seated hamstring curl or my favorite personally, I don't really like seated hamstring curls as much, um, but a lying hamstring curl. So um, yeah, and you could also still do a single leg variation, um, which I actually just put up um, an example of that, a tutorial video on my Instagram if you're interested in seeing an example of that. So um, after that, we finished off with just some calves here, and I don't want to take up too much more of your time or make this video too long, but we finished with a standing calf raise for three sets of 10 reps. Um, and went slow and controlled on those, really focusing on the squeeze, so not too heavy there. And then we paired that with a three-way um, leg press calf raise. So three-way meaning 10 reps, toes forward, 10 reps, toes in, and 10 reps, toes out. So it's gonna kinda hit the calf from a different angle um, on each of those toe positions and um, just give you a good burn for the calves. So um, that's kinda what we finished the workout out with. Um, after I hit that failure at the beginning, I was kinda feeling gas, so I was surprised that I was able to get such a good workout in, um, even if um, you're even considering. So um, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of what I've been doing, kind of a recent update of a recent workout this past Saturday of mine. And um, the only other thing I wanted to talk about before I let you guys get out of here, and if you're still watching, I do appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to be going to the Arnold this Friday um, in Columbus, Ohio. I'm from Wisconsin, so it's about a seven hour drive. I'm going down with my buddy, Mark, who does the photography and videography with me, um, who you might have seen on the channel. Um, and he's gonna be doing a lot of documenting of the, the events we do, the lifts, the expo, everything. So we're gonna have some sweet content for you guys. And also one of my buddies, Eric Munoz, who's actually um, a trainer at the gym that I used to work at um, in, here in Waukesha. And he's a really good guy. You might have seen him on the channel. Actually, you've definitely seen him on the channel um, a few videos ago. So that's going to be a good time. Um, that's going to be this Friday and Saturday. So if you're going to the Arnold, I'm going to be there Friday and Saturday um, at the Expo. So definitely come say hi. Um, and if you do say hi to me, I will have some gifts um, and some giveaways for people who do, like I said, come say hi to me um, and say what's up. So um, definitely come find me. It will be worth your while and um, I will appreciate it a ton, definitely. So it's going to be a good time. But um, after that, in two weeks, um, I'm actually going to be going to visit my buddy Manny, um, who you guys know definitely. I'm going to be going up there for two days, staying over. We're going to get two different workouts in, I believe. And um, yeah, so that's going to be some awesome content to look forward to in a few weeks. And then on the 14th, um, so right after I go visit Manny that weekend on a Wednesday, I'm going to be going to Colorado again 
to visit one of my buddies um, who lives out there and we're also going to be meeting my buddy Jake who you've seen who put me through the CrossFit workout. Um, I'm going to be meeting him out there as well so I'll be gone for um, a week in Colorado. So tons of content to look forward to and that's just going to be kind of wrapping up the month of March and then in April I'm going to be going to South Carolina with my mom and my aunt for just a little vacation at Hilton Head um, in Hilton Head, South Carolina. So. A lot of fun things to look forward to. I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything that I'm going to be doing for the next month and all those vacations and pretty much anything that I think you guys would enjoy um, seeing content from. So hopefully you've um, missed me a little bit and uh, haven't kind of ditched me yet, but um, I will be back on my grind now. If you haven't already heard or you haven't seen me, um, my post on Instagram, I am working full time as an online coach now and doing the photography and videography thing um, as well. So mostly weddings and different things like that. Um, but I'm doing that full time now guys, which is an awesome feeling and I appreciate your support because each and every one of you have definitely helped me get to this point and um, it's just a good feeling. So um, if you're interested in some apparel, if you're interested in supporting Anklem Athletics, or you're interested in coaching or anything like that at all, my nutritional consultations, um, feel free to check out my website. Um, but like I said, thank you for watching. If you're still watching guys, a lot of fun stuff coming up in the near future and I'm excited to kind of bring you guys along and um, take you guys along with the journey and just show you guys um, what's what's going on so i will talk to you guys very soon and um thank you guys like i said for watching and subscribe and like the video if you haven't already the likes help out the channel a ton and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys very soon have a good rest of your day peace out